So what we need to do in order to prepare a USB flash drive with Google Chrome OS Flex on it is to do it via the Chrome browser. This at the moment is the only way that you can actually prepare one of these USB flash drives. So as we can see here, I have got my Chrome browser open. Now the next thing that we need to do is to make sure that we have got Chromebook Recovery Utility installed as an extension to the browser. And if you don't already have this extension installed onto your Chrome browser, there will be a link in the description to this video taking you to where you can install this particular extension. So what I'm gonna do now is just click on Add to Chrome. So I'll click there, and then I will click on Add Extension. That's gonna install very fast now. There we go, so that's now installed. So. What I'm now going to do is go to my extensions icon up here and click on that. Now within the extensions list here, I only have a few. You may have a lot or may only have one or two, but just find the extension that says Chromebook Recovery Utility and then click on that. Now once the Recovery Utility is open, it will tell us here, you'll need an eight gigabyte or larger USB flash drive or SD card that you don't mind erasing. Now in this instance, I would strongly suggest that you use a USB flash drive and not an SD card, and just use the fastest flash drive that you can use as well, and just obviously make sure it is at least eight gigabytes. And then what we're gonna do is click on Get Started. Now on the next page, we're gonna see this option that says select a model from a list. So let's click on that. And then where it says select a manufacturer, We'll click on there. We will then scroll down until we find Google Chrome OS Flex. So we will click on that. And now what we've got here is select the product, click on that, and then we will select Chrome OS Flex. Now right now, because this is in early development, this is the developer and the unstable mode that I'm going to be installing right now. However, depending upon when you may see this guide, this may be the final version. Nonetheless, I'm gonna select on this Chrome OS Flex. Now what I'm going to do is just click on continue here. And then what it's gonna ask us here is to insert your USB flash drive or SD card. Now I've already got my USB flash drive connected to my computer, so you go ahead and connect yours. And then what we need to do is come down here and click on select. Now this is going to give us a list of all the flash drives connected to the computer. Now right now I would strongly recommend that just so that you don't erase anything by mistake, only have the flash drive connected that you want to install the operating system onto. Just as I have here, just one drive, so I can't get confused and then maybe just delete the wrong drive. So anyways, that's the one that I'm going to use. I'm just gonna click on that. And the next thing to do here is to click continue. This will now prompt us and say, create a recovery image. Important, all data and partitions on your recovery media will be deleted. So this is just reminding us once again that the flash drive that we're using is going to get completely erased. Now what I'm going to do is to click on create now. So let me do that. Now what this is saying is don't remove your recovery media. So this is saying here, download and 4% complete, two minutes remaining. I don't know how long this is going to take in the long run and it will be different from person to person. This will be dependent upon your internet speed and such. So what I'm going to do right now is just speed through this, but I will let you know roughly how long this is taken from this point in order for me to get to the next point of the video. Okay, so up to this point, this took about two minutes to get to this point. So what this is saying here is, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? So I'm obviously going to say yes here, so I'm just gonna click on yes. And what's going to happen now is that the recovery utility will start burning the disk image to the USB flash drive. And once again, I will just speed up through this until it is completed. Okay, so as we can see, the burning of the disk image to the flash drive is now being completed. This took about another minute and a half, but as we can see here, we've got a message saying, 
you need to format the disk in drive J in my instance, although this might say a different letter on your system before you can use it. Now definitely do not format the drive. What it is, this message may pop up for you as well. This is basically Windows saying that it has got a flash drive connected that needs formatting. That's only because Windows doesn't understand what is on the drive. So just go ahead and then click on the X and we'll get rid of that message here. We might have to click through a few times depending upon how many drives it thinks you've got attached. And so now we have got Google Chrome OS Flex installed onto a bootable USB flash drive. And this can now be used to boot and launch Chrome OS Flex onto any compatible Windows desktop or laptop and also compatible Mac desktops and laptops.